This is amazing, folks. We are at the split in the split rock. We are just down the road from the giant split rock that Jim and Penny Caldwell found at the base of the western side of the Horeb Range. Now this is known on the maps as Jebel El Laz and this range is the Mountain of God. Now in modern times we name every single peak and every geological and geographical feature but back then they would just name the regions and sometimes they would call a whole mountain uh, range of peaks. Uh, one name. And so you find that in the Bible. The Israelites were encamped at Rephidim, but also says that they were encamped at the mountain of God when the miracle happened with the water coming out of the rock and when they fought the Amalekites and when Jethro came here with Moses' family. It says he met Moses as they were encamped at the mountain of God. And then from there, they left Rephidim and finally camped in front of Mount Sinai. And so there's two different campsites, but both are mentioned as being camping at the mountain of God. And so the only way that can be true is if you're camping on different sides of the same mountain. And you find this to be a match for that biblical record. You find this site to be a giant plain. It's on the northern route around the mountain range. And it's a very dry region. And you find this huge stone rock at the base of the western side of Mount Sinai. Now this rock is on the western side of the Jebel El Laz range which we believe to be the area of Horeb, or the mountain of God. Now it was at this area that the Israelites complained for having the lack of water on their journey to Mount Sinai. Now they encamped on the eastern side of the mountain, but here on the western side it's a much lower elevation and a higher temperature most of the time of the year. And so you can see why they would complain about lack of water and the heat over here. One thing you will notice is that this rock stands out. It is one of the, the biggest natural features in this area. You have this giant rock on a hill and it's split right down the center of it. Um, and at the base of it, you do see erosion on the rock surrounding it. Now, some have said that oh, this was just natural erosion from wind and rain. Um, but at the same time, you know, if that much water was coming out of the split rock, it could have eroded the same rock um, a much quicker and then of course natural erosion could still have occurred. What is really interesting is that this rock is at the western side of Mount Sinai so they were still encamped at the mountain of God on the other side of the mountain so it fits exactly what the Bible says in Exodus where it says that the Israelites were encamped at the mountain of God when Jethro met with Moses at Rephidim and then they left Rephidim and finally made it to the wilderness of Sinai and encamped in front of Mount Sinai for 11 months. And so that would have been on the other side of the mountain range on the eastern side. Well, we've made it now to the base of the Split Rock and you can see what a view we have. We're here in Rephidim on the western side of Mount Sinai and all around us you see these giant plains where the Israelites would have encamped and the battle with the Amalekites would have happened somewhere. And of course, you do have the giant split rock of Horeb. And so as the water came out of this area, it would have flowed out into the encampment of the Israelites and given everyone plenty of water for the time they encamped here. And you can see how these rocks here have this erosion going on. Now, there are many rocks in this area that are deformed and eroded from um, obviously natural causes. You have the wind 
um, coming through here a lot and some rain. But if there were rivers of water coming out of this split rock, like the Bible says, then this erosion would happen a lot quicker and you would still have it to this day, even with the natural erosion on top of it. This is amazing, folks. We are at the base of the split, and you can see it goes all the way through this giant rock that's sitting high on this hill. And this is where the Bible says Moses struck the rock and water came out in the sight of all of Israel. Now this giant rock is standing on a high hill that overlooks this giant plain that we were just exploring earlier today. Now this is the area of Rephidim where the Israelites encamped and complained about the lack of water and where they fought the battle with the Amalekites. Now as you can see, the sun is going down behind this split rock that is standing here on a pretty high hill. In fact, you can see around me where we have this big plain that we were just exploring earlier. And so everything matches perfectly for this region. And this is why we believe that this is Rephidim. This is where the miracle of the water coming out of the rock Moses struck happened. And this is where the Battle of the Amalekites happened. 